And now it's Feel Good Friday time. Everyone's gotten creative during the pandemic, trying to get creative, from ramping up their day jobs to taking on side hustles. But it's not just the grown-ups. No, it is not. Two Nebraska elementary school students are now small business owners. They're both under 10 years old, and they're putting their passion for fashion on display with their very own Omaha Boutique. They are joining us live in just a moment. There they are, but first, here's their story. Meet the pint-sized fashionistas taking the accessory world by storm, one bow at a time. Thank you for coming to our Kyra Ride Grant opening. Kyla and Jariah are two cousins who turned their after-school hobby into a stylish business. After walking through the craft aisle of a local store, moms Aisha and Taikisha said there was a spark of inspiration. It was like a light bulb that went and off in my head, and I said, Hey, Kyla wants to make hey, bows. I said, dude, dry love bows too. And their boutique was born. If we wear bows, we might as well just start our own business and make bows. With the pandemic putting their dreams of opening a store on hold, they got creative, turning Kai's mom's garage into a home for their dashing designs and growing beyond bows to include tutus and t-shirts. This is a football one. For Kai and Rye, it's all about having fun and, of course, fabulous fashion. We're trying to make the world a better place to shop. Make the world a better place to shop. That's funny. Join us now, Kyla and Jariah, a.k.a. Kai and Rye, along with their moms, Aisha and Taikisha, all live friends from inside their bow Teak, thank you all for joining us this morning. And Aisha and Taikisha, I want to start with you. Did you ever think that this this little idea that your girls had would turn into a full-fledged business? Of course not. It started off as a simple hobby and during the pandemic, and then it just spiraled and became something bigger than we even expected. Well, Kai, Kai and Rai, we want to ask you guys, the boutique, it's not just for bows anymore. What inspired you guys to start making fashion, too? What inspired us to make cool fashion is that I'm creative and we love seeing little girls wearing colorful things like us. What? Why would you go out and buy them instead of making them? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, but you, I'm glad you're making them because they're buying them from you. And, and Kai, <laughs> you, you, you must love working with all the materials, the sparkles, the ribbons, and all those things. So what are your responsibilities? My responsibilities in Kai and Rye Boutique is to greet people, give them a basket, and help them shop. And Rye, what about you? My responsibilities is in Kai and Rye Boutique is working the cash register, and which is my favorite because math is my favorite subject. Let's bring the moms back in. Aisha, let me start with you. What are you trying to tell your girls here about being strong, empowered women business owners? Well, um, just personally, um, I just always walk by faith and not by sight. So just kind of instilling that in her and just also just letting them know that whatever they put their mind to, they can do it. And always to remain humble and stay positive, focused, and keep pushing forward. They're doing that. Yes, they are. And, and girls, we know your, you, your big inspiration is the unofficial queen of bows, JoJo Siwa. What do you think of her bows? I like her bows because they big and colorful. <laughs> well, you know what? She heard about your boutique and she has a little message for you. Ooh. Hey, Kyla. Hey, Jariah. It's JoJo. I want to say hi and I want to tell you both how amazing I think you are. You two are so cool. You started your own business out of your garage and now look at all the amazing things you both have done. I'm so, so proud of you for doing what you love and always just having fun and being yourselves. I love you guys. Peace out. Right. Oh, hi. What do you guys so think? What do you think? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. And Kai and Rye, what, what's next for y'all? You hope to move to a bigger store someday? What's next? Well, what's next is I want to get a different location, but if we go on one store, I want to see our bowls on the shelf. And I want to, and I want to see Kaya Rye Nationwide. Oh. And I also want to thank my stepmom, Sheree, for what all she do for me in a boutique. Oh. Say a little bit of
and we want to play pay our boss. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you both got it all figured out, and I tell you what, you're do, you're you're on the right path. And we're happy that we can highlight you, you both on GMA this morning. But you know what? Big moves coming from some small but mighty people. That's you two. And that's not all, Kai and Rye. Keep your eye. I want you to keep an eye on your mailbox because JoJo is also sending you girls a special present. So make sure you get ready for that. <laughs> all right, we, we love the excitement. And thank you all for joining us this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.